All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can build a school that is effectively the county jail for young children. It's School Owner. Less juvenile freedom, damn it. In School Owner, you play a young headmaster who has no morals and very little legal requirements. As such, you can kind of do whatever the hell you want. Obviously, you could build a school of learning and happiness. But I want to build a school that's more like a jail. I'm telling you right now, there's got to be a way to ruin children's lives in this game. School name, prison for children. How many letters can you put here? I'm still typing. Oh boy. All right. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that we have a uh, pretty convincing school name at this point. I feel pretty sad. The game didn't let me have the name of the school that I wanted. It made me shorten it. So the name of our school is Prison for Children. You get one meal a day and it's cardboard. Okay, so holy sh**, the camera. Well, this is interesting. Uh, what you didn't know is that our school is located in the flat earth. Oh, hey, objects. Is there plants or... Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I'm so happy right now. The children are going to get an extra meal. They're going to get a side of sawdust. I just went over to the people that you can hire for your school. One of them is lawyer. <laughs> this is probably why I couldn't have my original name. This guy looked at it and was like, hey, Gree, uh, I want to shorten that up a little bit. You know, all the parts about torture and no mercy. Go ahead and take that out. Oh, there's dorms. Hold on, let me let me make a spot for the children to live. That right there is the start of a beautiful campus. Only the best for the children at this school. All right, we need an admissions office. If you want to get admitted into the school, you have to walk three miles to get there. I'm gonna put it up here. The cashier's office I'm making really big because I like money. Male toilet two by three. How jacked up can you make the toilet area? You just make it like a... <laughs> what is this? Do you even need to put these in a wall? Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Yes. Well, let me put this up here. I'm not a monster. I'm going to give these kids a place to wash their hands. There we go. You can all fight for this one sink. On the plus side, though, uh, everyone gets plenty of plants. I don't even know if they're going to be able to get to the toilets with all these plants here. Wait, what happens if you put the sink so that it's into the wall? Can they even use it like this? It's clipping through the wall. You can put a park light inside of the bathrooms. I want to make sure that it's well lit for all these kids. Here we go. Tell me there's like windows or something. A stadium seating. This is amazing. You know how like in prison, there's uh, there's no privacy. <laughs> it's the same thing here. There we go. Using the restroom in this school is like an Olympic sport. All right, T-Pose Father Time, congratulations. You're my new admissions guy. Say hello to the headmaster. Rutledge Cunningham. Jesus Christ, that's like the most uppity name I think I've ever heard in a video game. All right, hold on. We need some classrooms over here now before we open up the school. What the hell? The classroom can go into the road? <laughs> oh my God, tell me I can put the children's seats down here. <laughs> this is amazing. Hold on, I, I need to have one of each type obviously going straight through the roadway. I was planning on having the children like a mile away from the teachers, but this is even better. Don't worry, I'll, I'll keep the preschoolers out of harm's way. I'm not a monster. Actually, I lied, I am a monster. After all, this is going to give them better reflexes when they grow up. All the doors are gonna be on the roadside as well. Yes, yeah, student, what the hell? Oh my God, you can stack the hell out of these things. Uh, sure. There's like 12 student desks stacked on top of one another. It says you can't put these chairs here, but you can totally put these chairs wherever you want. You can put the tables halfway through the walls. <laughs> yes. You can put a table through the door as well. Oh my God. Oh, this school. There's no way in hell this is gonna work. Let the bus go straight to the wall. This school is the devil. What the hell, a deck chair? Can you use this for like the teachers? It's like a freaking beach recliner. <laughs> I couldn't fit this one, so I had to go halfway through the wall. Oh, hey, you can change the exterior. Nothing like some blood red walls. There we go. The preschoolers can be happier. I don't know, they get pink. Oh God, I can already tell things are going real well when one of my teachers is just face planting into the wall. All right, kids. Yep, go ahead to your, to your classrooms. I don't know if you can get in, but sure, what the hell, give it a shot. Meanwhile, the bus just drives straight to the wall. So, I've got a student right now uh, inside the toilet area. 
What the hell is this? Looks like a member of a friggin' biker gang. He doesn't look like a student at all. Well... <laughs> Well, well, well. Looks like my school is working <laughs> just perfectly. It's always a good day when all of the children are T-posed into the wall of blood. This is how the wall got this lovely red hue. That's right, everyone. I got one person in their seat at least. Well, I say he's in his seat. I think he's just sitting on the curb waiting for class to start. Oh, my teachers don't know how to get to their desk. Ah, very good. The preschool classroom seems to be uh, working just as well. Maybe it needs like a real chair. I think that if you hover over this, it's supposed to tell you what's wrong with this this room. But honestly, there's so much wrong with this room. Maybe it just doesn't want to let me know. Yeah, I want all this marketing. We want as many students here as possible. All the advertising. You can set the schedule. So, wait. Okay, so you have to have an arrival and a pickup time. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's right, children. I hope you enjoy your 22-hour days of fun and adventure. Remember how the school name was that they get one meal a day? I lied. They're not going to get any meals. All right, there we go. Okay, let me try a real room to see if I can get people to actually learn something. Hold on. Oh, sh I put the blackboard up backwards. Uh, fine. There we go. Throw a couple of toilets in there. You kids should love this school. You literally get classroom side drop off right through the room. All right, I need to see if I can get this group bigger. Let's admit more children. I don't know how the hell our happiness is at 83%. I like how they're in school just forever. It's Sunday and they're still here. They're at school 22 hours a day. Government trust rating. Zero percent. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, sure. Like a hundred of these. Hold on. It's auto clicker time. Oh, <laughs> go my son. Uh, yeah, 300 college students should be good. Oh my God, the campus is getting out of control. <laughs> Look at the procession of children getting off of the bus. It's just this massive parade of inmates. <laughs> it doesn't stop. I just accepted like 400 people. I appreciate that uh, biker Joe over here getting ready to club some juveniles is just chilling out while everyone gets off of the bus. Where are all of you going? <laughs> Look at the giant crowd. You kids, um, you kids got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Well, there's a bat. There's a bathroom right over here. Is that a man wearing a hot dog costume? What the hell's going on in this game? What is happening? <laughs> All right, kids. Here, let me let me open up your dorms for you. Yeah, wherever I can fit doors, it really doesn't matter. Game successfully saved. There is nothing successful about this playthrough. Look at all the garbage. I don't have any janitors or, or anything. The entire area is just littered with garbage. Oh, the classroom's actually working over here. I mean, <laughs> working. What, what are all these hot dog people chilling out? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. The friggin' bus just hammered a bunch of people. Some dude's wearing a pumpkin on his head. Look at this school. The kids are sitting on the desks at this point. If I zoom out, I get six FPS. <laughs> all right, hold on. Let me... Let me get you guys someplace to eat. Got a lot of mouths to feed, so here's the stoves. A couple of vending machines, some of which are, of course, clipping through the walls and each other. Give these a little color here. I can see everyone's having some bowel issues, so, um, there. Can I put these, like, inside of this bus? <laughs> Very convenient, because now, as they're getting picked up or dropped off, they can also drop a number two. What the hell? What kind of fence is this? It's like a goddamn barbed wire fence. That's amazing. Hold on, let me. <laughs> no one gets to leave. <laughs> yes. oh, no, it's perfect. It is like a prison. I hope all you bastards are happy that you got dropped off. I'm keeping you from falling off of the planet. Here, let me give you guys a basketball court so you got something to do while you're just waiting. <laughs> okay, this is very efficient. Uh, if you notice, some of the students are like sitting on top of each other's laps on top of another person's lap. There's like three students in this one seat. There's two, I think, at least over here. Happiness, 100%. That is a lie. Let me put some beds in the dorms here. All right, everyone, congratulations. Uh, the enrollment fee is now $2 billion. College, unfortunately, the older you get, the more you get kicked in the balls. Here's just $3 billion. You guys really have to litter all over my goddamn basketball court. 
Hey, someone's using the bed. Well, when I say using the bed, he's like laying on one eighth of it. This is some David Blaine sh right here. This dude is almost levitating off of the bed. He, he has really good abs. Several children have now decided to fuse into the wall. So, hold on. We have the, we have the external fence. I just want to make sure that we don't have any escapees. There we go. The school is like the Hotel California. You can check in whenever you like, but you can never leave. Hold on, kids. I'm not a monster. Here, here's a coffee pot for you. Hey, no fighting inside the prison yard. These bastards are getting uppity, so I had to take away all the grass. Now they just live on a giant dirt mound. I need to know. Can you like just trap like one single person in a cage? <laughs> that cage doesn't work, but this one totally does. Hey, you four, y'all, y'all friends, you guys close. You're about to spend your entire lives together. I just accepted a hundred more preschoolers. I like how this sad marching blob of children just keeps getting more and more stacked on top of it and everyone has to use the bathroom or eat they're all like great we want to see our families guess what that's not what we do here <laughs> the walls are the only things that work in this game now everyone's going around this they can't get in this little pocket so they're all going here see a bunch of these rooms are so screwed up the little indicators here there's so much wrong that it doesn't even want to tell me what the problem is do you know what you found down that that alleyway children a life of solitude i don't want you guys starving to death in the middle of the torture so like here's a bunch of shop shelves what the hell is this it's like going to walmart there's like bottled water and toilet paper i guess it's all the necessities considering the different amenities we're providing at this school. I like how this blueprint never filled in. It just stayed the way it is. This is uh, the laser prison over here. All right, hold on. Everyone's getting out of hand. We need some guards. There we go. I'll put a couple of guards inside of the solitary confinement. Look at the growing tumor of guards. When I fill this entire containment area up, what happens? Like, will all the people burst out? <laughs> Oh yeah, you see that hot dog in the bottom right area of the contained area? See, he's slowly being shoved out by the growing pressure of people. <laughs> Look, is it it's gonna blow? I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty impressed how they've managed to stay in here. Hold on, what happens if I what happens if I destroy the wall? I kind of wonder if they'll come spilling out. I can't even destroy it. I put a bed inside of here. <laughs> And if <laughs> Look at what it did to the assets. I didn't pop people up like little popcorns. Hold on. Maybe I can get them out this way. I have an idea. I'm trying so hard to save these guys. Oh, the game. <laughs> the game is starting to glitch out like crazy. Well, um, I think that this scene right here is a perfect representation of the beautiful school that we have made. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this episode of School Owner. I think that all my people are eventually just going to starve to death. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.